glasses of the wine, of fumes and fish. It, they're taking his telly again. God, is it choosy, Winnie? Does your granddad know what you do? Too much for night school. Mind the steps. We know there's steps. Why didn't you let me have one of them nice little portables? So you not a time, brother. It's going to be sweating when I get colour. Why do you, you got it? Have a look at the vertical hold. Why don't you stay inside, Miss Batty? You know, you always get me excited. That's all we can talk. Yeah, be your, be your Harold wrapped up with your pigeons, huh? I'll give him a word of encouragement. Stop flaunting your laundry in front of my face. Disgusting man. Worst day's perjury. No wonder his missus went off with that, with that pole. You know, I good being lonely. You're not lonely. There's a gang of them down at the public library. There's now ever else to do. What does he do when the library's closed without his telly? Next door he says he says he supposes himself. Yeah, <laughs> hello. Is that a pup? No, not a pup. Older than you. Don't get trod- don't, don't it get trodden on. What do you want round here? Can I ha- give it a stroke? Long way from home, aren't you? No, we're just moving in round here. Are you? We're in. Next door, street up. Dad's got a whippet and a motorcycle. Two days, stubble on his chin, sits on his, out of his vest. I know. Oh dear, why aren't you at school? I've got spots. What? See ya. Oh my God, they're all coming up. Hello, Cyril. You know, when I, when I came to play, come playing guests in this quiet little backwater superior area up the hill, nobody said a word about being right in a path migrating halls of pole. Put a fit, fit, put a fit, put a fit. What's up, Cyril? More or less, more or less of the Cyril neighbours right here. Oh, we have good schoolmates together. Well, aren't we? Shut up. I should deny it. I should know where you, they, I should, I saw where they scarce once. In the penetry area. I know all the details. How does it, not more, I have less of the Cyril, I said. I've heard of more rounded tones of Mr. Bellamy. Oh, don't mind me telling you, spoken respectfully, while clutching your tattered nap. Well, then he's down his dog, scrapping all over the pavement. That's funny. He usually stores it up for little bags and set, sends it by post. It's all, it's the fretting, Cyril. You don't have to call for me, you know. Suppose I'm not going to the library. Give over. she will never get, allow you to cut, cook back to the house for tea time. Well, she's not used to having me under her feet all day. You don't think the only place I've got to go is the library? Look, get rid of the, this here, here, airy pillock. You've got a no, real goalie, goody here, there, Cyril. And he's worse than the missus. Come on, let's go and find Clegg. Five paces behind, don't mind Simo, sunlight. Drag yourself up by your boots heels out of her little street and don't down towards the end of life's journey. Here you are again, underlining my confidence. Now that you wait here, not only my city and guilds, it's a social chasm between us. A Cyril, give us a fag. I'll give you a sniff of my socks, this fella. He picks his tiny bird in his hands and carries it quiverly in little's body across the dispensary junction, feeds it his cat. Life's like that, a complex texture of conflicting moralities. Agreed. So what are you doing here in a heavily commissioner's unit suit? Grasping for smoke. Reckon you know what's on the other side, Faith Clark, Faith. I suppose to be stopping. But then, on the other hand, it's hardly fitting for me to be seen trying to live forever, is it? I finished the book. Oh, you know where the others are. How are you, being, how are you keeping? My bowl is playing a little bit up a bit. I bet I was playing up a bit. God moves in mysterious ways. Judy calls. He's still calling for me in full daylight. Call the neighbours. Tell the neighbours it doesn't belong to you. You're just looking after him for somebody. They've taken my telly again. Only because you haven't paid. It's nothing personal. Oh, tar. What are you writing? Just catching the passing. Just a fast catching the passing fault. I don't know why you bother. Well, somebody's got to think about things. Who and who's got more time than we have? It might it's might perishing though. Let's move on. Bring the bike. 
Let's have coffee then. Back up. Here you on concrete ground are wearing rubber soles. Your trouble hasn't been used for years. We all know what that feeling. No need to be prejudiced against him, Cyril. You just because he looks like something from rent to drain. That's true. I got my feelings, you know. Oh, and I do know. I've seen you scratching them. You've got to remember, Compo, that Seal was a Tory. The Tories can't stand it if you're filthy and obscure. That's why. That's what the Labour Party thought. Is for. They fetched me in the car once at Labour Party. Fancy that, having to vote. I mean, when he got to look at his fat cat head. Well, who's burying, who are they burying then? A fellow from Hemperstone Street. Where else did they go after Hebrison Street? Definitely some normal head flathead. You c- could see that at school. Lovely bone structure. Not anything you could see at school. A clear day, old, old ragged riches. Could be, could, could be grinning at you from all sorts of unsightly places. Oh, that, no, it's not all that flat. If you're here, where the bolt goes through. Ah, play your cards right. You can run your fingers through my hair any time. You're like a retarded camel. Oh, do you think I ought to part it in the middle? You might go down well with Miss Batty. I should think leave it to be no actual messy. Just look how things have turned out. To think that they used to bully me. To think that they used to bully me life out. Did you? Well, he had his velvet suit. You didn't, did you? Well, he, my mum wanted to, to give me a start in life. I should think you need a 50 yards start in Hemorrhage Street with a velvet suit. You know, I can't wade the Almighty up at all. Oh, I don't believe in him. Certain a morning spirit between, behind the national assistance is a puzzle. Even old Canyon Jameson? Do you believe in old Canyon Jameson? He's a complex character, tyrant, one minute and yet more than democratic. He weighs the choir boys. And just and that's just the canon. So you no chance with weighing up guard. Well, I believe in him. You creeper, I understand. But you, Eddie, has a has a solid chapel. You've been, you've seen, I know. But just, despite even that, I'm still interested. Well, what was wrong with the chapel? Oh, I felt someone how it would should, should have more humour, perhaps a bigger organ. No, I'm not concerned. I mean, it's for a start. It's God impotent for any choice that available. What could be possibly want for an old woman? Blind chance working there, not section. Oh, I know I chose her, but to think on. She's not a longer then as when there was a night of depression. No respected out of fancy, out of fancy. Well, even if you didn't believe it, God would take her f- just for spite. They're all the bosses, like, they're all like the bosses. Well, you know, you tatty heathen, I told you my opinion. Not exactly an expert opinion, is it? Considering how much experience you've had, either church or full appointment, employment, sounds to reason. God's a boss, even if you don't believe in him. What does it matter who takes your old woman? You miss them when they were gone. Chuffing pole took mine. She was a good wife to you, Clegg. A very different, to be by every de- definition. She nagged incessantly. She kept things spotless. You couldn't fool her. You just miss her. My job at co- co-op and em- moratorium. I, after 31 years niggling up at each other, it leaves a hell of a gap. It's like going deaf. I, it takes a lot of readjusting. Like this, like being redundant. She wouldn't have liked me being redundant. Ah, oh, still, it's not all that bad. There's a lot to think about. There's things we could do. Could you get my foot out of there, of here for a start? Here. What do you feel it tapping that? Me and foot's fast. Ah, oh, how do you get stuck in there? Oh, easy when you've got the knack. Steady on my bloody legs, won't unscrew. We have to take this welly off. Well, I'll hold the bike. I'm not holding your feet. Maybe he'll write. Right. The world's not really ready for his feet. I used to keep myself clean once, but it wasn't any use. She went off with that scabby pole. This, your missus, was well decent. Aye, she was a cheese. You think she could have certain natural advantages like the water on her face and serious bloomers? Whoa, no, Mr. 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 Whoa, Rainwright. Oh, I have to touch, have to touch you. It's an E, Mr. Rainwright. Now, there's no reason why we can't be adult about this thing, Miss Partridge. Now, what do you, 
but not many read the Sunday Times. What truck have we, we even a middle class morality of this nasty little town? Did you read the Yanks Lawrence? Well, it started. His mother came. And afterwards, when my husband was like, likes us to watch High Trip around, you poor deprived kid. Then I have to get to his overteen. Oh, my, oh God. You read far enough to feel bad for the passion of intensity, the honesty of flesh. Well, more or less. But it doesn't like me reading re- in bed. Filthy toe swine. But at least he found each other, Mr. Pastridge, Miss Pastridge. Fate and Niobe committee are friends together. I come to work with a poem my lips. Do you know that? A good job. You got your own car, Mr. Wainwright. I feel upright. Lifted. I feel alive. I feel all new tights. Mr. Partridge. Well, it's a nice, a bit more expensive, but worth it, I think. Oh, God, every penny. I have to start charging the lot, that lot rent. Never mind the days of numbered. Do you suppose they saw, what, what do you suppose they saw? Never nonsense. What else? What was it to see? We were merely engaged upon our mysterious activities upon the lower shelves. Anyway, I'm going to get a lot of bard. Do you need me, Miss Partridge? I'll be in natural history. Here, how could you afford fags and backing horses? Oh, it's not easy. Boogie's got a car. You've got a, uh, you've got a pair of willies. Don't you, that teach you something? Aye, you didn't get enough exercise. He never reads the front page. He gives me diarrhea. He get, does it right. Does right. I reckon the world's basically sound as long as the racing checks them. He's, he's been useless in society all his life. You're, you're only saying that because it's true. When we were kids, the rest of us go to swim. He'd go for a quick dip for them his mum's head and bag. It wasn't. That wasn't melt, in it, though. He were poor. We can only see how far they came since. Well, it's a family tradition. Used to be a tradition around here. If you were hungry, you could knock on any door without a moment's hesitation. And stare at me straight in your face. What do you do? That, what's that got to do out? Just shows me that they had character. Now we're in an age of compassion. Worlds for the folk, hating folk, for hating folk. I think I'll have a little trouble on You see the deep social concern gets you this Uncle Bill, for his Uncle Bill, his first attempt at conscious objection in the area. Well, hell, he, was he hell? On the grounds of war interfered with his obligation to earn Pigmore at Pugmore's sweet shop. Then, then they've all the la- been all been laid about his lot. Our Frank went to grammar school. Aye, eleven o'clock one bloody night. Left his homework behind. Here, not that same Frank who was left. They have rendered the Bel- 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 yard, but activate a conceptive device. I would be well. We do engage. All we know that we don't. At, at what? Uh, don't we? Well, he made her, didn't he? Aye, aye, for a bit. He's already had a bit. Well, for a while then, till he got fed up and walked out. Well, she was always on about her his ferrets. She said it was either her or them. He knew how good she would be down. He knew how good she'd be down the rabbit hole. You see, no sense of responsibility. Here you are. Here you are, have Wainwright down on us again. He always knows we come in here for a bite. We? I hope you didn't think I have ought out to do with seeing horrible wodges like that. Why should he come in here? You probably found me around, Miss Partridge. Many years ago, before even I was intimate with Maxwell, real Maxwell. Well, oh, were you? A man of speaking? Yes, one day, on Tuesday, fan spit. What, with her Pringle, her and Pringle Street? How, what do you mean, in a man of speaking? She let me see her without a vest. Always felt constricted a bond between us. Constituted a bond between us. It didn't stop her marrying that bread man. How old were you but then? There, then there. Ten, nine or ten. It's one of those formative experiences you don't forget. She married a Watson from Dallas Avenue. They're all living in what's that? A Bloomfield Road. He works on the milk. Never seen, yeah, must have seen her. Never without a vest. Not since that once. She goes to bingo. Well, there you are, you see? What happens to us in life? Promise to start like that, she ends up going to bingo. Maybe you settled too quick for not enough. And do you realise that in China they pedal fifty miles just to look for a, a book? Ah, 
now that you know how to treat this place in Peking, you're out, you're finished. I wanted to read my reading room, be a little light. Beacon, shining in the darkness, keeping the flame of culture light. Get out, go on, get out of here. Get over there. Don't come back. Go on, get out. You're barred, barred. You can't bar us. You couldn't if you weren't. Was it you for you, you scruffy twit? I wish I had a better me. You had you under me, my army. Do you? Hark at him, bloody stores, war, waller. Anyway, think he's invented the Gurkhas. At least I was in full employment. Asa could work. That's not strictly true, Ivy. Ivy, what's up now? What about this monthly plate? Been here three days. Well, give it us it here, it, if you're allergic. Bloody soft hands. Well, cheer up. It's only, it's only library, it's the only library gone. A whale's gone to the oyster. Oh, she must have made me tea for the five. Not so much a landlady. More of a way of life. I know you never stop dripping. But you must take a look at those kitchen taps. Oh, don't get back in there, you bloody cluttering and arguing. So all it happens. You never realize how much you're going to miss close marital relationship like that. Well, come on. Let's get a move on. Come on. Now, look what you made me do. Come on. You can't catch fish. You know, if you're finding the mud, I've got the same terms of formality with it as you. You must be mad. All this exercise, enjoy it. We ought to do things more. That's why I keep telling Miss Batty. Oh, shut him up, can't you? Do you notice? We even came past Lover's Lane just now. We used to come up here. We know what you used to come up here for. We came up here for a picnic once. And me and the missus. We haven't been married. We haven't been, been married long. I got stung. I didn't exactly get a bargain, bloody bargain. Here, give us a fag. I wouldn't task on you. Ask on you. A bloody, I'm dead bloody... I did cheeky. Oh, oh Tar. How many yours, huh? For all for old man time's sake. Here's where's your missus now? Oh, it's the idea. Don't even know where she's alive. Do you reckon you meet up again? There up there afterwards. Office, you know? Up there. There's a treating store for us then. Halfway for him. I come through trotting with his wellies. Don't appreciate going to get through them gates, do you? Don't matter any road. I don't believe in it. Except to think about it sometimes. Like, what, like, where be Wednesday when you're dead? Where you reckon angels wear underpants? You what? Wet under their undercoats? The, it never shows them pictures. Here, do you reckon they got parts, you know, to hide? You scruffy present, pheasant. You don't need to butt them to, don't need them, do they? There's no mucking about that, like that. You see no variety, even a heavenly chorus. Just rank after rank of sopranos. I bet it doesn't even rain. I like a drop of rain. Choirs assemble in the canteen on wet afternoons. You have to believe in something. Just, that's just, that's just your background speaking because you've always been a bear me. The wet armed forces are all over W.H. Smith and Sons. Armed forces? Bloody capering corps. What do you know of service? Always in the knock. Well, we haven't altered since, much since school. You could hear the rustle of toffee paper at 40 feet. Him and Doug Eastwood, between them. The only time was caught happy in school, when I was home dying for something. He never caught him out. Germs used to stagger back, coughing. It was, and he says, such creation is new. He should have attended his true drills at a bag of bike shed. But a sign that, well, set up, up, up. Hey, someone's been at... Uh, it, uh, up the lane. Hey, it's all right, right. Aye. Did you have get any? Did you? I bet she blotted your copy book, didn't she? Whoa, whoa. Well, I think you might be able to go back to the library. Oh, what my mate's going to think? He sees that in there. You're going to think? You're one of the penances making love to the library, the librarians. Librarians, it's disgusting. He's in charge of the children's library. Cove over. You don't think they enjoy it, do they? Where it seems to be popular, our doctrine is nerve wracking. Poor devil's guilt and tramp can find spaces. Maybe it deserves our sympathy or anyway. What for? Because he's got intentional aspirations. It means that one day he's going to lose all sense of reason and go and live down south. Here, you reckon I'm in love with Miss Batty? Oh, it's just, oh, is it just sex? Her love. Why not him? Do you know how he started his romantic career? Something broken biscuits down to Susan. Addison's knickers. 
Yeah, but that was research. Just that was just an excuse, you see, to see if it's true that what Dougie said. Shut up a minute. What did the Dougie say? Well, Dougie reckoned you got they got a trap door. A trap door, yeah. He said that's how babies are born for a trap door. Think about it, Cyril. It was any weirder than the truth. Oh, it's queer world. Those that brought us to believe in God, the Queen and the severity of British psych schools. Which one of them, Burks, is going to give us a fag then? Here, come on, give us a me, give us a fag. I'll give you sniff my socks. Here, keep them. They'll give you cork tripper disease. Do you know what you suppose they used to do to me at school? Used to lift me up my little shirt, squash butterflies on my navel. I but any summer, poor little tiddler. Don't, don't stand up there. Give us a hand. I can't go up there on my own. Come on, then. Oh, he's off to sea now. I walk with thee. Clegg's off the other way. Oh, well, I need to the end of the street, mind. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean no good to be seen consulting with his fresh classes. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at the library. Ta-ta, cheerio, ta-ta. I don't know less. It's a rum old world. Nonetheless, I think I'll go and get a little sausage. Get a bit of sausage for my tea.